Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to make a quick video while I'm driving to the office today, so hopefully this doesn't make you car sick. But I just had to tell you about something crazy that's going on with one of my clients. We have their house listed and we had it under contract and they were buying a new house, so they actually could close on the new house and move in before they sold the old one. Um, thankfully for them so we didn't have to worry about doing any kind of special contingency or anything like that to make it work but they wanted to put the contract out a couple of months so that they could wait to move into their new house which I understand that makes sense so they didn't want to have to move twice so I was able to negotiate things and get that into both sides of the deal and make it work well two months later on the closing day where am I sorry <laughs> two months later on the closing day it turns out that the buyer who was buying their house actually decided to amend their tax returns or something that was not disclosed to us and you know right before closing we find out that their loan has been turned down so it was terminated and the contract was terminated and my seller got to keep their earnest money it was about twenty five hundred dollars so I don't know if that really covers holding cost of going over a couple of months, but they agreed to 2,500, even though I usually I suggest 1% of the sales price. So we got several full price offers again, and got it back under contract. And then this buyer did an inspection, and I don't know if it's because they moved out a couple of months ago or what, but it turns out that there was mold in the basement. So, there are two really seriously scary things that come up in real estate or that have to do with your house that can get pretty expensive. One is mold and the other is foundation or structural issues. Those are two that are most alarming to me. So, I had never dealt with mold yet. So, this was something I started Googling, you know, is it covered by insurance? How much does it cost? Anywhere from $500 to $20,000. Okay, great. I mean, this house was probably built in like 2003 or four, so it's not even that old or anything. So it was kind of crazy. But um, I guess it turns out that their gutters were clogged and the water was dripping down the side of the house and seeping into the foundation walls um, into the basement. So. The listing agent told me that it smelled like mold in there. Did I know anything about it? I never smelled any mold in there, but I haven't been by there in a while. So, I don't know. Um, I kind of thought that it was just like a negotiation tactic, but it turns out there really was mold. We had an inspector come out, and they gave us a quote. The buyer gave us a quote for over $14,000 to remediate the mold, mitigate it, whatever, and handle this problem. So, of course, me, I'm like saving money for a full-time hobby, whether it's my money or somebody else's money, I'm going to find the best deal. So, I started calling everybody I know who deals with this kind of stuff, and I found out that my ex-husband's friend is in the business. It's funny how things work, because it was literally like the day I got this quote, I ran into him, even though we haven't talked much for years, and he gave me his card, and I had him go out, and their company quoted it for less than half of the price and the possibility to give it covered, get it covered by insurance if my client wanted to go that route. And they worked with her and they're allowing her to pay, you know, a portion up front and a portion at closing or, you know, after it's completed, they're being flexible. So if you're in a situation where you think that you might have mold in your basement or a crack in your foundation, because I have a story about that one too, um, feel free to call me, text me, email me, Facebook message me, whatever works for you. I can definitely give you some advice on that and help you fix it. And, and don't worry, even if you're under contract with another agent or whatever, I'm happy to give advice and I'm not trying to steal any agent's business, just trying to help. But, um, so thank God we were able to keep the deal together, negotiate the seller fixing the mold before closing and sliding scale of all the puzzle pieces of closing costs and this and that to make sure that my seller could still walk away and net what they were looking for. So thank God I was able to put that buyer out. Anyway, I know it's like really warm today, but I'm freezing because everybody's using their air conditioner. So I have my awesome red coat on today 
to match my brand. So, if you want to reach out to me by email, it's katiealt at kw.com. That's K-A-T-I-E-A-R-L-T at kw.com. Or you can go to my website where you can search for homes, find your home your home's value today and uh, read more about us and all kinds of cool stuff and that's katialt.com so spelled the same and my phone number is 678-760-2666 or if you're watching this on social media feel free to direct message me bye